Have you ever wondered how aircraft are tested in order to obtain a final approval certificate from the FAA or EASA for passenger flight operations? In this video, we will see how aircraft are inspected using various equipment as well as a close-up look inside a Boeing 777X aircraft. Before building a physical model, the aircraft undergoes extensive design and material selection, as well as testing to determine its requirements and viability. The Boeing 777X and B737 are pre-existing design airplanes that have been given a modern shape and capacity, as well as more advanced amenities, compared to previous designs. Boeing's 777X test planes, which include the 777-9 variant, are equipped with various instrumentation and systems designed for flight testing and validation. These test aircraft are used to evaluate the aircraft's performance, safety, and compliance with regulatory requirements before it enters commercial service. Here are some of the key components and features typically found inside a Boeing 777X test plane. Jetline Marvel was allowed to have a look inside the first Boeing 777-9 and B737-10 ever manufactured providing a unique opportunity to see a side of the aerospace business that is normally kept private. The interior, which could seat more than 400 passengers in a conventional two-class commercial configuration, was designed as a huge diaphanous room outfitted with rack upon rack of instruments. Even the lateral walls, which were devoid of wall finishings and fixtures, contributed to the overall work-in-progress feel of the space. The aircraft features some seats in the middle and right side with soundproof covers, and one of the chairs in the middle is equipped with some kind of sensor, while the left and right side floors have walking areas. On the right side, we can see one of the engineers can sit and monitor the sensors and outside views. The majority of the airplane seats are in the middle, where all of the wires and sensors have been arranged with sensor panels and computers. Furthermore, if you continue moving to the rear, you will notice some of the tanks that will be filled with water based on their weight. According to the weight load balance during the flight test mode. Internally coupled with pipers and pressure tanks, the tanks can instantaneously flow water within each other. As we move back, we can see one of the controllers, which is usually used to manage the water lines. At the back end, we can see the fuselage encased and insulated with soundproof materials, which works as a shield for the aircraft fuselage. There are approximately four tanks on each side of the row, with around 12 tanks at the back end. We can see outside from the plane's window and door. More computers and sensor monitoring chambers appear as we proceed. Engineers' tasks are critical since they ensure that each test phase is completed. Some of the other journalists are shooting pictures inside the plane. It looks great even before the seats are installed in this aircraft. The majority of the sensors are connected to different areas of the aircraft, which is vital for comprehending the variance of the aircraft's data.
The Airbus A350 and B777X have different fuselage sizes, with the B777X having a larger fuselage than the A350 and somewhat larger windows. This airplane is exceptional because of its well-kept cockpit and updated avionics and engine features. The most common instruments used in airplane testing are as follows. Number 1. Flight Test Instruments Test planes are equipped with specialized flight test instruments and sensors to collect data on various aspects of the aircraft's performance, including aerodynamics, avionics, and structural integrity. Number 2. The aircraft's control systems, including fly-by-wire systems, are thoroughly tested to ensure they function correctly and safely. Number 3. Load sensors, strain gauges and load sensors are installed throughout the aircraft structure to monitor stress and loads during flight tests. Number 4. Flight test engineers are on board to monitor systems, collect data, and make real-time decisions during test flights. Number 5. Specialized software, flight test software is used to analyze data collected during test flights, helping engineers and researchers evaluate the aircraft's performance and identify areas for improvement. Number 6. Test equipment, specialized equipment, such as ballast tanks, may be used to simulate various load conditions during flight tests. Number 7. Safety measures, safety systems, including emergency procedures and redundant systems, are in place to ensure the safety of the flight test crew and the aircraft itself. Prototype or pre-production configuration, the test plane typically reflects the prototype or pre-production configuration of the aircraft, and it may not include all the amenities and systems found in a production passenger aircraft. The engineers from Boeing then sit at workstations, with screens along the side walls of the aircraft to watch and evaluate this data flow in real time while conducting flight testing. Different planes require a different procedure, the climatic conditions, longest possible flight endurance, and features for software and hardware functionality must all be met by commercial aircraft. The Boeing 777X has already completed numerous flying tours and demonstrated its top-of-the-line characteristics. The Emirates Airlines is scheduled to be the launch customer for this aircraft when it takes flight in 2026. Please share your thoughts about this aircraft in the comments section. If you appreciate this video, Please click the like button and share this video to others.